Welcome back. In lab 80, we're finally going to be using all, well, any of the hundreds of thousands of libraries that have been written and given away so that you can import them into your code and use them. It's a wonderful community, the Python community, and uh, you'll find that much has been done and there isn't much for you to do, but there's always more and more. So here is the keyword import. Very important keyword. You're going to import something, and that something can be another module, or it can be a package of modules, or and either one can be called a library, and that's going to bring that namespace something into your namespace, into your module, and then you'll be able to call any of the functions or make objects of any of the classes. All this in something will be available to you. One thing that is going to be important to you to realize is that on import, the interpreter runs it. So when we look at professional code, we'll find that nothing much is happening in the first column. Because nothing shows up if it's not in the first column. We'll see that much more explicitly soon. The import facility will not import the same module twice. This is important because you might import a module that imports sys, that imports another module that imports sys. Sys is a very important module, gets imported a lot, and the interpreter recognizes that that's going on, and all it does is make an, a new identifier on that module object so that then you can call it this way or that way. We'll see. For our example, we're going to be looking at the random module. It's a lot of fun because it does anything like picking a number out of the hat. Any time you need a random activity, random's your friend. We'll look first at the main because it has some good sequencing things going on. I'm going forever while true. I'm asking my user, are you ready to roll? Now the user has to press Q to quit. Now this line, line 23, is a little confusing to new programmers. If response, now remember that means if the user said something, if the user just hit return key, then that's false. And we go down here and we print roll them, call roll them. But if the user did type something, and the first character that the user typed is either the lowercase q or the uppercase q, then we're out of there. Let's look at Rollum, because on line 14 of Rollum is where we make a call into the random module. We say random dot. That little tiny dot. It's like a spaceship. It takes you inside that library or inside whatever your import is. And in there, there is a rand range function. There are a lot of functions and you'll be discovering them. I picked rand range just to keep us familiar, familiar with the concept of range. From this call, we're gonna get one number, someplace between one and six, because a seven will not pop out. So that's like rolling one die, and here's the other one. So we have a tuple of dice. Okay, but when we call roll them, we come down to line 10 and we see that we have a constant of strings in a tuple. This is the zero with one, this is the one-th one. And the thing is that snake eyes is the gambler language for having rolled two ones, doubles. Two twos, little Joe, etc. You can't have two zeros because there are no zeros on dice. That being so, I just wanted to fill the place. It might be more common to say dumb, dummy, but I did say can't happen so that if that pops out, I know I have some kind of a bug. All right, here I am on line 15, giving my answer as a string 
Dice 0 and dice 1 equals the sum of those two dice. And if they are the same, so that's saying that dice 0 equals dice 1. If that's true, then I am concatenating onto my answer doubles of dice 0. So if dice 0 and dice 1 are both 4s, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it'll add on heart 8. And then we return that answer to get printed. The important thing about this module is import the library name, the library name dot, whatever we want to call from there. It's all available to us. So much code, so easily. Now I know you want to know, well, what modules are there? And how do I know what's inside each module? You get some experience of that in the lab. So go ahead and give the lab a try, and we'll talk about it when you're ready.